hello guys welcome to another video in this video it's going to be the concluding part of my uh, culture shock is here in Germany if you haven't watched the part one I'm just going to link it right here and before I start I just want to say thank you for engaging with my content I thank you for all new subscribers for those people who found me worthy to always come back here thank you thank you thank you and I ask that you continue to come back all the time right yeah so without further ado we're just going to go straight right into this video from the first video I made your reaction showed us that we're not alone especially for people who live in Germany who are of African descent a lot of people you know could relate to the things that I shared and so here is a part two feel free to leave me your thoughts at the end of this video and don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to this channel if you're not yet subscribed so let's jump right into this video so the first thing on my list part is that Germans don't warm up to people easily yes and i'll explain that shortly so you know in nigeria it takes only one conversation and you already begin to feel like that person is your friend or your sister yes that's how closely knit we are you just need to meet somebody for the first time and maybe you guys are from the same state or district or village or speak the same language and you're already calling them your sister so when you see them another time you have you know you relate you tend to relate to them more than just acquaintances but this doesn't happen in germany so because i know that you'd have you have conversations with germans real conversations like they'll ask you deep questions like questions that you normally not even ask germans like where you're from and why you're in germany and what you do and all of that you know they ask you questions and after that the next day you might meet these same people you've held conversations with and the best you get is a wink or a smile that disappears just as fast as it appeared you know those ones or a nod or something like that but they don't stop to even you know have a conversation with you or even just say hello sometimes they don't say hello you know but if it was and I jump in so like, oh wow, how are you? Like, how have you been? Has your family and all of that? Nobody got time for that. Point. My second point is that Germans are always on the move. Oh God. So even if they are Germans, if there are people that you know that you call, you know, there are some people that maybe are your friends or you know them beyond. You guys can, you know maybe have your numbers you can actually call all your children do things together so they are not acquaintances you know so when you see them you want to say hello how are you doing and all of that they don't always have time they're always like time is always of the essence for germans so they're always like on the move nobody has time to stop and say how's your family how's your children and all of that but in nigeria or in africa i believe generally they would stop to ask how your family is doing they want to know what is going on and all of that just out of care you know that's like the typical thing you must stop and have those greetings one minute two minutes you know conversations but germans don't have time for that too they're always on the move so when we came in initially and i see people behave like that i'm like ah, how do people just how like i know you right but people are always like on the move so but i have adjusted but definitely not with Africans like people who are of African descent that I know would definitely stop for an extra conversation and then would have those yeah so the third thing on my list is is um, you don't just call people randomly because you are you know in their neighborhood and ask them if you can come in for a visit oh no oh no Oh no and I totally understand this because a lot of people work here and they work maybe shifts sometimes I'm in the morning shift or afternoon or evening for people who work shifts and then you don't even know what time that person is working so it's going to be the joke is going to be on you if you just show up in someone's neighborhood and begin to call them and ask them if they're home and if you could stop by you know in Nigeria that happens a lot people even leave their houses and come to visit you without calling you first yes yes and when they come you have to whip up something for them to entertain them like i said in the last video you don't just give them water and say okay especially if they came from a far distance so people just show up in your 
your doorstep without even calling you and it's quite typical for us but definitely not with germans because also you can't even just come into people's houses like you can press on their bell and they won't open the door for you because they didn't know you were coming yeah so it's a thing to call people here before showing up and this one i have embraced wholly i don't just show up in people's houses i must call you to let you know before coming i think it's it makes sense you know but i believe that right now in nigeria people must have people have adopted that but i'm sure that there's still people who you know are maybe in the neighborhood and they just call you randomly and say hey can i come in and then you have to say yes or if you're not around then you say you're not around but yeah it's quite typical for people to you know surprise you with visits yeah in nigeria i mean it's quite typical for people to just show up at your doorstep and say oh i was in the neighborhood or i came here to buy something and i thought oh let me come in and say hello to you it's quite typical but definitely not in germany so and this brings me to the fourth point and the fourth point is people don't walk you out of their houses like when you visit them they don't like how we say in nigeria they don't escort you to the door you know in nigeria this is what happens i visit my friend maybe we get engrossed in the conversation and then she begins to walk me back to my house it's it's, it's worse when we're living maybe in the same estate or the same neighborhood then she might probably walk me if our houses are not even far she'll walk me back to my own i'll get there and then when she says oh i have to go now then you start to walk her back to her own you know you know what i mean if you guys know what i mean leave me a comment that's quite typical for nigerians to do but here nobody got time to start working you to your home or whatever my first experience with this is um the lady is actually Af nigerian she's not even german so the first time we had just come here months months i'm not even talking about years and she was the first person that you know took me around to the store to just show me where to get certain things and all of that so she was like a very first contact person so we come to their house we spent almost like the whole day with my kids and then when i was about to go she sat on the chair where she was sitting and said goodbye to us <laughs> like we let ourselves out of the door that one was quite extreme i think that germans will walk you to the door at most and then you can find your way but i know that she got influenced by the german life and it's quite typical that nobody walks you out of their door no 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 but for me people who are close to me germans africans whatever you are i walk you beyond the door at least sometimes i go down the elevator with you and take you out of our the, the, the you know the building you know it depends on my relationship with you it's just the way it is like we don't get people visiting us all the time or we don't also visit people all the time so when we get visitors for me it's always like a pleasant thing and then i just want to always you know book you you know it's, it's quite normal for us to do that so yeah i do that all the time especially when people come from far to come and visit you so that one is still part of me yeah maybe with time i'll get over it but for now it's still a part of me let me talk about recycling i've lost count what number we are at but recycling you know in in nigeria we just put things all together yes we put the compost bin the paper the plastic everything goes in one yes that's how i grew up until i moved to germany here you have to you know there's a bin for compost there's a bin for paper there's a bin for plastic there's a bin for virtually everything for bottles everything is sorted out and i totally love that that one i have accepted that one has become a part of me that one is something that i am glad to do the hardest part for me which is recycling is the compost bin because that's where like food particles go you know for germans what they have is like maybe some vegetables some fruits and you know how their food they don't cook through their food like they don't eat like we do you understand like if you see the bin of an african you know that is bean residue right from food i mean imagine the amala the away do the everything together it's a whole mess like my husband always complains and say he cannot deal with this thing but we're forced to do it and right now it's it has come to stay like it's quite it's normal for us to do that and that one i've accepted and that one i think everybody should do it everywhere in the world yes so the next thing on my list are pets 
yes and for this video i'm going to be talking specifically about dogs you know in nigeria i grew up you know having dogs all through my my growing up years we've always had dogs in our home but i moved here and i see like some people don't even have kids dogs are like their kids and they they say oh i'm a dog parent yes i am i'm pro animal you get and i have nothing against people who would rather have you know pets you know instead of kids but what i what you know the difference in culture is that for us dogs are not you know animals are not things that we keep inside our houses you know or pets like you guys would want to call it we don't keep them in our houses even dogs are kept outside in fact in nigeria dogs are like security you use them to secure your properties your houses not to cuddle yes i know that these days i've seen people have those very nice breeds of dogs even in nigeria and they just like to carry them around like you see them being done in the west but it's not a culture that we're very much accustomed to it's something that is imported into our culture and i find it really interesting it's nice my son wants to have a dog and when he's old enough to take care of one he'll definitely get one but you know for this video i'm just comparing you know both cultures and how we differ you know and for some people keeping or you know rearing dogs are like businesses for them in Nigeria unlike here people keep them just for the love of it like they'll carry stray ones and they'll take care of them and help them until they get them recouped and they are doing well but in Nigeria we keep dogs for security purposes so yeah basically so another thing i'm going to be talking about is that people i'm going to talk about people police yes so in germany like people help the police to enforce the law mm -hmm. unlike in nigeria people see a lot of things and they just ignore if you're on the wrong they don't care everybody is concerned about themselves and they're just going their way but in germany you just need to make these two single these two simple mistakes and you find people especially old ones you know cursing under their breath you know if you go against the traffic light or you walk on the on the bicycle lane because in germany they are like specific designated lanes for bikes if you walk on it it's either the the bike riders scream at you or curse at you or old people just give you that look because like where where's this one coming from you know or when you um go against the traffic lights you don't wait until it says green before you cross they begin to curse on that your breath you know how germans react like they begin to say, blah, 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 blah. you never hear what they say what they just like to speak on the you know under on their breath they just like to mumble things the mumble words but you know that they're referring to you so the best thing you want to do is to wait until the traffic light says green <laughs> not when it says red or when it says yellow you have to wait especially and and this i find really really you know amazing and i think that is something that people should um you know pay attention to because once i um you know i i have heard an older person talk to a man that went against traffic and then she was like the children are watching you know and she 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 and i understood from that perspective i understood where she was coming from being a mom of kids as well so you don't want your children to pick this wrong um um behaviors on the streets because they see adults do it so you want to be on the right side of the law per time otherwise people are going to police you okay, so before i round up like i said with the last one i saved the best for the for the last and the same thing for this one too that public endearment you know how you see people cuddle and do all those <clears throat> show of love public show of love basically outside it's not something that's typical in Nigeria. Like you don't see people walk on the street and begin to kiss or hold themselves like in a very sensual way. You understand? It's not very common with us back home. So when I came here, it was so surprising in the buses, on the street, you see people, very young people, like teenagers. So for me, it was like, oh no, 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 this isn't common enough. And I understand that even in Germany, some older people will frown at it, 
you know they'll frown at seeing young people act in such a manner but it's just something that i think has come to stay it's something that you see every day and every day i get surprised every day it's a surprising thing for me i don't i'm not sure if i'll ever get used to that because i think certain things should be left um private and that for sure should be left private yeah okay so that brings me to the end of this video feel free to leave your thoughts at the comment section if this point resonates with you let me know if you've experienced any one of them and leave me some of your own culture shocks i would like to share your experience as well so you know how we do it you know the drill give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment share this video if you think someone else would like to see it and thank you for always coming through for me and for keeping it 100 for me and you know how we do it here don't forget it works if you work it and i'll see you in my next one bye